Well, good evening, uh, good afternoon, or good morning, whatever time of day it happens to be whenever you look at this. My name is uh, Donovan Edkisson, and uh, I'm with Anera Media. I had mentioned on the uh, IAIB uh, forums about my workflow uh, using AV Synth and uh, uh, Magui, and this uh, this little video tutorial may or may not provide you any good information. I uh, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to get too in depth into exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going to show you my actual workflow. First thing that I have to do, keep in mind that I record my videos in MP4 format using XSplit. Apparently XSplit has some kind of weird problem and so my my son set it up so that I can drag and drop my file over a batch file that he is using MP4 box to essentially strip out and re, uh, recopy the video and the audio track. And once I do this, then I'm able to actually take this file and drag it into Sony Vegas. If I attempt to drag this into Sony Vegas without going through this process, Sony Vegas will not see the video track. All it will see is the audio track. And there again, as I said, this is an issue with XSplit and possibly FFmpeg, uh, which I believe it's using. So anyway, once I've done that, <clears throat> I have a file that is now fixed. <laughs> so I go into Sony Vegas, and I, uh, of course, locate my file, drag it into the project. Drag it down into the timeline. And for this exercise, I'm just going to render as and project default. This has already been set up. I named the file signpost because this is the way he set everything up. That's what it's looking for. Of course, I already had one, so I override it. All right, so we have the frame server. I leave all the defaults and I click next. So it starts writing the signpost AVI. And then I launch Magui. Before our, uh, my son started helping me with this, I had no idea what Magui was. Anyway, so I load up the, the AVI synth uh, script that he's created. And uh, of course, it pops that up. And of course, as you can see, I already have it set for 800 kilobit uh, X264. Audio is Nero AAC CBR96K. You go up here and you tell it uh, basically name the file. And then it just starts rendering. And as you can see, it tells you the processing rate and all of this kind of good stuff. And that's pretty much it. So that's my workflow. If you have any questions, uh, I'll be happy to try to answer them as best I can. This is, uh, I'm doing this on an Intel i7-920 uh, with, uh, I believe, 12 gigs of RAM, so you can see the CPU hit. Anyway, appreciate it. Thanks again.